today our lecture is about the very fundamental of panda pandas uh, the very fundamental of panda is that then we will discuss the data frame and series data structure of pandas that how we actually uh, put the values in the data frames and how we access its methods data frame is actually a data structure so we will discover in our this video that how we uh, access the basics of panda and we will just uh, discuss the very anatomy of the data frame or the data structure what is data structure and how we actually use it so first of all we import the two libraries which are actually pandas and numpy and then we just uh, actually uh, to see the anatomy of uh, a data frame say we have defined movie and movie is a data frame and movie title is a uh, column name and row names are the avatar pirates of the caribbean these are five movies names director name james cameron and, and others uh, and it's imdb score see that np dot nan is actually that we uh, that shows the missing value mean if we have space over here it's mean uh, that uh, there is no da director name but of course if there is a film there should be a director so np dot nan means the there is a director but we are missing its name so np dot name is actually the missing value. so in in in, uh, in this way we uh, define a data frame so see uh, data frame is equal to pd dot data frame and we will pass move into it df and we will see df this this is actually movie it's uh, actually key value pair of a dictionary if you see uh, if you are aware of the python's data structure you will see it's actually very equal into the python's uh, dictionary this is key and this is value key value pair so her key is actually column name that movie director imdb you will see they have put there and avatar and these movies name are the rows dictionaries are not so powerful so that's why we will uh, pass it through the data frame because data frame method has a uh, very uh, robust method with very strong methods so you will see the d and f these d and f are actually a uh, capital so pd dot data frame dot dot move we just uh, pass through it and now we have a data frame so so we'll see that uh, these on the horizontal axis movie title the director name imdb score we, we will say these as a columns and 0 1 2 3 4 5 these are the in, in indices and all the thing in in these uh, are the values so, so on the these are the in indices 0 1 2 3 the indices this is actually the column name and all within that is actually the data so see with it data frame dot columns you will see data if we are calling the columns df dot column will give you the actually column name df dot index will give you actually the that it, it's actually a range that start from zero and comes to stop at five actually you will see this is a range index and if your df dot values and you will see if you call df is actually as you know that it's a data frame so df dot value will give you all the data in that frame now we're discussing the data types how many data types are in the pandas how many data types our data frame have actually it's a categorical variable continuous variables are normally the variables which we use in certain ways like age like age and height etc and the categorical variable are actually the variable which is actually like for example the color of car or the gender or, or your qualification for example of course your qualification have five or 
with less disease. In pandas, we have different data types. For example, object data type have, have a text data, for example, string data, and the mix of data, integer and uh, strings. Mixed data types is, is called the object integer, as actually the integer floats have a data with fractions, 14 numbers. Boolean np dot boolean has only one byte named uh, only true and false, and these two are for and category variables have actually as we, we just discussed have even unique values. For example, if qualification we have more two three, so that kind of data is <coughs> data. For example, how we actually uh, access how many data types uh, of a variable has how many data types of a data frame have to just uh, write df that the types so we know that um, movie title have have text data our imdd have a integer or float data uh, float data mean <coughs> so so example the, these two are, are the textual data and this server nine is actually uh, know how uh, one column is normally taken as a, as a series in our data frame for example if we say data frame and we access actually our uh, director name so we'll see these are this is actually only one column of our variable we can say for example we say that direct we can uh, store this uh, series into certain uh, variable for example director so it's actually the circuit director to dot head of course that's mean it's first instance and there are actually holes of first instance are for example if we say that how many value counts have director have how many director have how many value value counts uh, Christopher is is mentioned in in once and James Cameron is is one once time only they come if they come twice then there would be Christopher Nolan a second time and this we we'll just read this for example we we'll just uh, say the movie variable and we just repeat this James Cameron twice over there you see and then we we pass this movie into data frame one and then director one is equal to data frame dot you will see we can access uh, the column by dot method too we can access it by the by the square brackets but we, we also can access it dot director name and then director one dot value count and you will see here is two okay two means actually that James Cameron Dwight, our counts are two. It comes twice. So this is how we actually access the data frame. Anyway, if you want to see the size of of, of our our, for example, see this size, and you will see it show you actually six. Six is the size, you know, because six integers we have, so it's a size you could also for example uh, director or shape you can also see the size by the shape how many actually the values are in this and uh, this is actually how you actually call the methods for example see we have uh, so other method for example we have no budget imdb score it's imdb score sorry we don't have a Budget. We have IMDB score, for example, IMDB score, IMDB underscore score uh, is actually we say score, the variable score. So you can actually uh, take its, uh, for example, max. You can call them different methods. For example, how much maximum IMDB score? IMDB score is the score variable have for example it's scored maximum did and uh, another for example uh, very basic method is to, to see that basic statistic we can also call the scribe method it will give you uh, it will give the basic statistic count mean mean modian and this kind of thing 
actually uh, we have certain missing values in our uh, first data frame to fill the missing values we have certain maths and certain methods for example we say directed uh, underscore filled is equal to whatever variable or directed dot fill and a no we have actually two missing value in, in our uh, npn and npn in our for example that you will see in, in our directory column and we want to replace these with zero for example zero it's a uh, not uh, very no if you have six excess director and you will see that seven zero Keep in mind that if you uh, press tab, tab is auto. And similarly, if, if you want to, for example, uh, drop these lens with a uh, director underscore drop is equal to director the series dot drop. Uh, you you see that director dot uh, director dot if you call it and you will see that these these two and names are actually these two names are dropped so you see you can drop these values or you can fill these values with the certain value zero or, or anything in good uh, address and other words well, at last uh, we can call actually the relative frequencies of the variables, for example, set director to that value count. And the director one is a bit better because we have two certain values in there. Norma wise is equal to true. If you set the norm wise true, you will see. You will see. That this gives actually the relative frequency. If you put the normalize in value count, it, it will give you the relative frequency of the of the series. Actually, operators are uh, series. For example, we make a series of IMDb is equal to the IMDb is equal to actually the the score is equal to I. Uh, data frame IMDb that is actually the series we have met and now for example we can just uh, add the uh, you will see add the one in one or actually for example two in uh, you will see the score for example you will see the actually score was that actually you will see the score was 7.9 but we just actually uh, add two in edit in it you can sum can multiply it with three or whatsoever actually you'll see you can actually uh, use different methods of, of mathematical operators on a certain city it's very easy and another very important thing is chaining chaining is just like uh, of it's like a flow for example if, if we cook certain chicken then we will we'll first go to the market we, we purchase the onions and tomatoes and all recipes for example according to certain recipes we will see certain spices for that and then we come to our home and then we uh, just uh, set our stove on fire and put the pan on it and then put the oil and set and pan and we make the there is actually a chain there is actually a process and then the next process and then the next process <laughs> Uh, chaining was just like that for example if we uh, say if we want to uh, know that how many uh, missing values do our director column have for example is it director director dot is null is null is a, is a method which which we tell you how many nulls have you have for then you will see there are only two uh, true means uh, false 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 mean there is uh, uh, there is no now but uh, two and fifth second and fifth actually our rows are no 
uh, if you know that false means zero and true mean one and so if you want this that how many uh, missing value you have so you'll see zero zero one 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 plus zero zero one plus zero zero one plus one two so you'll see uh, here we go you'll see yeah. two and you'll see we have actually two only two missing values then you know, so actually we have only two missing values for example again if you want that i know i want to know that how many uh how well, for example how in percentage in percentage uh for the missing value or we want to know the percentage of missing value then we would just uh, call the uh, mean method you say only 30 percent values are missing values. so that's actually uh, how we can change the different patterns in a cell and you know, just this is the beauty of code actually uh, we can make the, the index very uh, meaningful for example you will see that our index is actually just just index if we make the movie title as an index it will be a bit beautiful for it so we should, for example we call uh, we'll say we have a movie 2 for example we we'll say movie 2 is equal to uh, for example movie uh, we have that data frame data frame dot set index in set index we will just, just give the column name for example a movie title so here we go you will see that uh, no if you call, if you call movie two and you will see that uh, so you as you have seen actually that uh, we just uh, set index movie title and then call movie and you will say instead of index no index is actually movie title and then director name now you will be useful movie title is set as and you can call actually the, the elements by movie title but if you want to reset that say that i don't want this extra i will just reset the index that you want uh, this chain to be first you set set and now you reset index and you will see you will change has been reversed and now you have the same movie tool with zero one two three range as index Name uh, rows and columns, uh, like for example, if, 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 if you want the avatar, replace the avatar to the godfather and to replace the specter to the telegraman, for example, and director name to the director name, and IMDb score to the score. So, do just like this, for example, in, in a data dictionary, for example. Avatar for the index is two is equal to this and column um, like the key and pair old name new name old name new name and then this we call actually we can rename rows and columns for example the data frame is df and we call the data frame and then we keep in mind that uh, we must index to certain uh, for example row that you want to actually set index movie title as you want to change the movie title for example you want that instead of avatar we have a godfather over there and instead of spectre we want all the river for example and you found out like i assume it's uh, starting ah, and you want the column directed name to the director name and imdb score uh, simply score on this code as you just uh, call the key value pair old name new name and old uh, row name and new row name and old column name new column name then simple call the data from method rename index is equal to new index index 2 you will call it column is equal to column 2 and then you call it you will see and then uh, that you call the, if the data frame you will see actually that there is a godfather instead of avatar and this is how there is a certain column of dice we can create delete columns a very simple uh, for example we, we want to insert this new column for example let's say new column is new column and put it to any scalar and you will see that your data column, new column, and edit. And also, you can actually use the uh, different operator, even Boolean, for example, 
if we want to add actually code. For example, one column double score. Say is equal to, for example, say is equal to score <coughs> five by two. It stands IMDB. I assume stand IMDB. Can you see data frame? Double score. It's just the IMDB score multiplied by two. You will see a uh, score is a variable that actually we put into the IMDB score. <coughs> two columns over there, or even you can put certain condition. For example, data frame uh, new column two is equal to for the score is greater than, for example, six point eight. Say six for new score two 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 false false false. Okay, first mean it's a Boolean expression. So you can add a uh, column in a multiple way and similarly you can delete the column simply then data frame for example if you want to delete the very uh, very recent column for example say new underscore call to then you will see uh, what happened uh, df and you see the new column has been removed similarly you can remove every column simply by null methods. Yeah.